Hello and welcome my dear students. Today I am, go I am going to start a very interesting and very easy topic that is ABO blood grouping and RH blood grouping. Before moving on to this video, I want to discuss something about blood. As we all know that blood is a red colored fluid component present in our body. Blood is known as the fluid of life. Why? Because it helps in transport of vitamins, nutrients, minerals, hormones, gases from one part of our body to other part. And it consists of various components like RBC, WBC, platelets, etc. We all have the same blood in our body. But we often hear people saying that I have blood group A positive, I have blood group B positive. Now the question is, why do we all have different blood groups? After going on through this video, some questions will be clear in your mind. Like, why do we all have different blood groups? Why it is always advised to transfer the blood after matching the blood groups why blood is not transferred among persons having different blood groups such questions will be clear in our mind so let us start according to international society of blood transfusion there are more than 33 different types of blood groups but the most important blood groups are abo blood grouping system and rh blood grouping system let us see them one by one abo blood grouping system under abo blood grouping system there are four types of blood groups that is blood group a b ab and o and the person who is being credited for this particular blood grouping system is sir karl landsteiner so karl landsteiner discovered the three blood groups in the year 1901 that is blood group a, B and O. And the fourth blood group that is blood group AB was discovered by D. Castello and Starley in the year 1902. Now let us see the principle behind the blood grouping. On what basis was the blood where the blood are being grouped? Karl Lenstainer observed that when blood is transferred from one person to another person, it leads to clumping of blood. He named this clumping as agglutination. It is also known as clotting of blood. Now why does this clotting of blood takes place? It takes place because of two factors present in our blood. One is antigen and another is antibody. There are two types of antibodies in our blood. One is antibody A and another is antibody B. And there are two types of antigen present in our blood. RBC that is antigen A and antigen B. Now this agglutination or clotting occurs when a particular antigen is mixed with its corresponding antibody. Antigen is also known as agglutinogen and antibody is also known as agglutinin. So in this particular picture you can easily see that when an antigen gets its corresponding antibody at that time there is antigen antibody reaction which is known as agglutination you can see the reaction here okay so due to this reaction the agglutination or clumping occurs based on this Karl Lenstainer gave a law known as Lenstainer's law what does that law states it states that if a particular antigen is present on a patient's RBC that corresponding antibody should not be present in patient's plasma. It means if a particular antigen is present, its corresponding antibody will not be present in the patient. Clear? Now let us see the ABO blood grouping system in more detail. As I have already told you that ABO blood grouping system consists of four blood groups that is blood group A, B, a, B and O. Now let us see the antigens and the antibody present in this four type of blood groups. This is a diagram showing the four 
different types of blood groups along the antigen and antibody present on them. We can see that if a person has blood group A, his RBC's surface will contain antigen A. An antibody in its blood plasma will be antibody B. So opposite one is antigen A, another is antibody B. Similarly, if a person has blood group B, his RBC surface will have antigen B, but antibody A, opposite. And if a person has blood group AB, his RBC surface will have both the type of antigens that is antigen A and antigen B, but no antibody. And if a person has blood group O, his RBC surface will not have any antigen, but will have antibodies like antibody A and antibody B. So this is the reason why we all have different blood groups because of the different types of antigen present in our RBC. Now blood transfusion. Transfusion means transferring of blood from one person to another person. During blood transfusion only compatible blood is used. That is the blood which can be transferred among different persons. And while transfusion, one thing is being taken care that is antigen of the donor, one who donates blood is known as donor. So antigen of the donor's blood and antibody of the recipient's blood are being considered. Let us see a beautiful video showing what happens when blood is transferred among persons having different blood group. So, there is a person having blood group A. When he donates his blood to the second person having blood group B, the person dies. Similarly, when a person having blood group B, when he donates his blood to the person having blood group A, the person having blood group A after receiving the blood, the person dies. Now, what is the reason behind the death of this person? Let us understand this with an example. Suppose there is a person have, having blood group A and there is second person having blood group B. As the first person has blood group A, his blood will contain antigen A and antibody B and the second person having blood group B his blood will contain antigen B and antibody A. Suppose the first person got injured and he needs blood and the second person donates blood to first person. Now what happens that this antigen and antibody A comes in contact with the first person's antigen and antibody. So, the first person's blood will have antigen B and antibody A. Now, as the antibody A got its corresponding antigen, that is antigen A, so there will be antigen-antibody reaction known as agglutination. Similarly, antigen B will react with antibody B. So, there will be antigen-antibody reaction known as agglutination. And this agglutination will further lead to death of the first person. So it is advised to match the blood groups before transferring of blood. Now this is a chart showing the four different types of blood groups and the persons to whom they can donate and the persons from whom they can receive blood. It is clear from the chart that the person having blood group O can donate blood to everybody. So, persons having blood group O are known as universal donor. And the blood group AB, we can see that the one who has AB can accept blood from everybody. Everybody can donate blood to persons having blood group AB. So, AB is known as universal acceptor. Now, why O is known as universal donor? Because the blood, persons having blood group O doesn't contain antigen A nor antigen B. 
so o is known as universal donor and why ab is known as universal acceptor because the plasma of the persons having blood group ab doesn't contain any type of antibody so persons having blood group ab are known as universal acceptor now after abo blood grouping system the second most important type of blood grouping system is rh blood grouping system it was given by karl landsteiner and alexander wenner in the year 1940 as it was first seen in a species of monkey known as rhesus macaque so it is also known as rh factor we often hear people saying that my blood group is a positive my blood group is b positive someone says that my blood group is o positive what does that positive negative means it means the presence and absence of rh factor those persons who have the rh factor in their blood are known as rh positive person suppose this is a particular diagram showing that if a person is rh positive it it means that his rbc surface will have the rh factor and if a person is rh negative it means that his rbc surface will not contain the rh factor so those who have the rh factor are said to be rh positive and those who doesn't have the rh factor in their blood are said to be as rh negative persons majority of the persons have rh positive blood it means that suppose a person's blood group is b positive what it means it means that his rbc surface will contain antigen b this green color arrow mark shows antigen b and his rbc surface will contain rh factor you can see the black dot this black dot means the rh factor so his blood contains your antigen b as well as the rh factor and if a person says my blood group is b negative it means that his rbc surface will contain only the antigen b and no rh factor similarly if a person says my blood group is ab positive it means that his rbc surface will contain a antigen b antigen and rh factor and if a person says my blood group is ab negative it means that his rbc this is surface contain only a antigen and b antigen and no rh factor so based on these there are eight different types of blood that is blood a positive a negative b positive b negative ab positive ab negative o positive o negative now let us see a condition known as rh incompatibility which is also known as erythroblastosis fetalis what happens in erythroblastosis fetalis if an rh positive person marries an rh negative woman and if the woman becomes pregnant with an rh positive fetus the suppose the fetus blood is rh positive now what happens that during the time of the birth of the baby the rh positive blood of the fetus comes in contact with the rh negative blood of the mother this leads to the generation of antibodies in mother's blood and these antibodies get stored in the mother's blood and if the mother becomes pregnant again with an rh positive fetus those antibodies which were stored in the mother's blood now go and attack the positive fetus as a result the fetus suffers from anemia jaundice and it may finally lead to death of the fetus of baby after birth so in order to avoid this nowadays there are injections available these injections contain anti rh antibodies so those injections go and destroy this anti bodies as a result the mother's blood doesn't contain antibody and the fetus is safe and the baby is delivered normally this condition is known as erythroblastosis fetalis which is also known as hemolytic disease of the newborn now let us see the genetics behind this abo blood grouping system the abo blood group is controlled by a single gene that is i the gene i which is also known as the abo gene it is located in chromosome number 9 and the gene has three alleles that is a small i ia and ib the allele small i is responsible for providing the blood group o the allele ia is responsible for blood group ab the allele ib is responsible for blood group b 
एंड एलिली आई ए एन आई बी इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ब्लड ग्रुप ए बी बोथ आई ए एन आई बी आर डोमिनेंट ओवर स्मॉल आई नाउ लेट अस सी द जीनो टाइप ऑफ द पर्सन हैविंग डिफरेंट ब्लड ग्रुप सपोज ए पर्सन हैज ब्लड ग्रुप ए इट शोज दैट इट्स हिज जीनो टाइप विल बी आई ए और आई ए and if a person have uh, or his genotype can be ia small i as ia is dominant over small i so the person having genotype ia small i will have blood group a and if a person has blood group ab his genotype will be ia ib if a person has blood group o his genotype will be small i small i okay now let us see how this abo blood group is being inherited means how it is passed from one generation to other generation let us understand it with an example suppose there is a father having blood group a and there is a mother having blood group b now the genotype of the father will be ia small i and genotype of the mother will be ib small i and if we show this with the punnett square we can see the possibilities of the blood group of the child so the possibilities of the blood group of the child can be ab b a or o so this is a simplified chart showing the father's blood group and the mother's blood group and the possibilities of the blood group of the child suppose a mother's blood group is o and father's blood group is b Now, what are the possibilities of the blood group of the child? The possibilities of the blood group of the child are B or O. And suppose if the father's blood group is A and mother's blood group is B, what is the possibilities of the blood group of the child? It can be A, B, A, B, or O. So that's all for this particular video. These are my reference for this particular video. Thank you and study well.